Hello and welcome to the tech update of this week. This is Solva. The world is gradually moving towards the adaptation of 5G and one of the key components needed in smartphones to ensure that smartphones are able to connect and communicate over 5G network is a specialized 5G processor, usually referred to as 5G baseband chipsets. Globally, there are about 12 major key companies that are making much investment towards the manufacturing of 5G baseband chipsets. Now, among among these 12 tech giants, companies such as Qualcomm, Samsung, Huawei, and MediaTek are the four main companies leading the way in terms of market share globally. For the past four years, Apple has been relying on one of these four tech giants for the supply of this 5G chipset, which is Qualcomm. But latest updates gives us the hint that Apple is planning to cut ties with Qualcomm. This could have negative implications, especially on Qualcomm. And what exactly is the secret behind this decision Apple is making? This I will be talking about in today's update. Apple recently revealed that they are planning to reduce their reliance on the use of 5G based on chipsets manufactured by Qualcomm. Now, if you have been following the tech trends for some time now, you will notice that Apple has actually been contemplating about the need to break free from Qualcomm since 2016. This desire of Apple saw a massive push when Tim Cook hinted that there is the need for Apple to make this desire a reality. In 2019, Apple took a bold move. They acquired over 17,000 patents from Intel. This they did by purchasing Intel's baseband chip making section at a cost of $1 billion, which was considered a good deal for Intel. This massive investment by Apple actually prepared the ground for Apple to start planning their shift from Qualcomm in the long term. Now, according to reports released by Bloomberg, Apple alone accounted for over 22% of revenue generated by Qualcomm in 2023 alone. So if Apple stops purchasing 5G chipsets from Qualcomm, this would be one of the biggest blow to Qualcomm as Qualcomm will be losing Apple as one of their key customers. Currently, Apple is planning to start manufacturing their own 5G chipsets in-house next year which is one of the key reasons why Apple wants to reduce their reliance on Qualcomm. Now, as much as Apple intends to end their ties with Qualcomm, Apple still has contractual agreements with Qualcomm, which will be expiring in 2026. Next year, Apple is planning to release their first ever iPhone powered by a 5G chipset developed in-house by Apple. So meaning Apple has one year to evaluate how effective their shift from Qualcomm to their own in-house 5G chipset might be looking like. Also, Apple is actually being strategic with this kind of approach. While they are still having contractual agreement with Qualcomm, Qualcomm, which will be ending in 2026, they are still giving Qualcomm the hint about their intentions to shift from Qualcomm so that they don't ruin their relationship with Qualcomm. Now, this move by Apple will enable Apple to become self-reliant in the design and the supply of 5G chipsets for their production lines, giving Apple more competitive strength in the long term. Now, the biggest loser here remains Qualcomm as Qualcomm is likely to lose over 20% of revenue, which usually comes from Apple. Now, in my view, Apple is making the right move. Do you think Apple will be able to catch up with the top four chip makers such as Qualcomm, Samsung, Huawei, and MediaTek in the long term? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you find this content informative, kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next updates. Peace out.